Chat. Good afternoon, Dean. It's time. We're in queue. I think it's time to bring it back. D TikTok and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for. Good afternoon, D and D TikTok and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, let's roll for bread. One pancake. My last pancake sandwich wasn't great, but I'm holding out hope oh for this boy. one. Next up, roll for Maine. It's been a while. Seven ham. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They going ham. Specifically, Black Forest ham from the Delta. I haven't had ham in a Get minute. A couple slices on here. Yo, pancakes and ham. Real talk chat. I actually look forward to the holidays. Especially Christmas, specifically for the ham. So far, we've got the making of Christmas a good hams. breakfast sandwich. Next up, roll for cheese. Ah, yes, time to laugh at bad Overwatch. One, days. no cheese. Well, that's a bummer. All right, on to roughage. It's tough. Six pickled okra and eight tomato. I'm not sure how these are going to do with the pancake aspect of things, mm -hmm. but with the ham, it should be good. Like, tangy pickled things go well with the fatty meats like I don't ham. know about that, but... And fresh tomatoes a little bit tangy, too. I don't know so. about that, but... All in all, I think this could work okay. Okay. We'll just have to see what else we have. not the worst. With. Next up, roll wild magic. Tw really? 12 again? Extra cheese. All right, let's see what we get for cheese. Redeem for the, tw the cheese? Three, vegan provolone. Uh, I can't believe you got boomerang cheese again. Uh, dude, Even just get rid of that shit, bro. Oh, man. I don't mind man. this stuff. It has a nice smoky flavor, and I'll happily add it to the sandwich. Last but not least, it's a D20 sauce roll. 17, Taco Bell Avocado Ranch. I like this avocado ranch, but I was hoping for something a little more dynamic for this sandwich. I don't think it'll be bad, but I think it might not be as good as it I don't think it's going to be let's very get good at all. in there to hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, no! All right. all right, well, we started a little breakfasty, but I don't know if I'd exactly call this a breakfast sandwich. No. Oh, let's man. give it a taste. That's tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much just what I thought. The ham and the veggies go together well. The ranch is fine, but could be better. Nothing super heinous with this one, but at the same time, doesn't really stand out as anything special. I think some of the early rolls had potential, and I'm going to keep pancakes on the list for now to see if we can really nail down one. a good pancake sandwich. I'm going to lock this one in at a 5.9, and I'm going to call it the two meringue in honor of our odds-defying second cheese boomerang in a row. That's probably a little generous, honestly. All right, next. Good afternoon, D&D TikTok and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm using these purple and gold dragon dice that were given to me by my friend Brittany in real life. First up, let's roll for bread. Four, challah bread. All right, I got this nice fresh loaf from the bakery down the Ooh. street. I'm going to cut a few slices off of it here. That looks Starting good. real strong, which means absolutely nothing on this show. That looks good. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Seven ham. You can't fully judge it without trying it yourself. Oh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to bait me into eating that monstrosity. That ain't happening. This is wrong on so many levels. I'm sorry. It's not me. It's the dice. I'm sorry. Roll for Next up, roll for cheese. Wait, what was it? Sorry, if I missed it. Seven ham. Wait, why is ham? This bad? is wrong on so many levels. I'm Wait, why sorry. Why is ham? It's not me. It's the dice. I'm sorry. Next Wait, up. Wait, why is it wrong? Wait, why is it wrong? Oh, it's not kosher? Wait, is the bread kosher? Oh, oh, Roll oh, for cheese. Oh, oh. Six, Brunost. All right, well, this Norwegian brown cheese has a caramely flavor, and sweet things are often paired with ham, so this will probably be okay. I don't know about that one, even. Next up, let's roll roughage. His cheese choices are a little suspect. T double twos. Double umaboshi. Umaboshi. Okay, well, I've been putting three umaboshi on when I normally roll it, and I rolled double, so I guess that's six. Get the pits out here and start mashing it up into a paste. This is too much umaboshi. This is too much umaboshi. This is too much umaboshi. I'm going to have a heart attack from the salt. Next up, wild magic. Two extra sauce. So we'll roll 2d20 for the sauce roll. And here it is. All right, we'll continue when we get back. Ugh. Three black truffle mustard and one ketchup. 
Well, this should be okay. Adding a little bit of that looks good. tang and some umami with that rich truffle mushroom flavor. That I'm not good. worried about this one. I think this will work fine in this sandwich. Now, Satan's sauce, on the other hand, I'm not so salt. sure. But it's the Wait, dice's desire today. Ketchup's so Let's get tame, our toothpicks though. in here to hold it together. Like, ketchup's, like, this is not a good sandwich with ketchup in it, but, like, it's a tame... It's tame. It shouldn't be that bad. And let's get it cut in half. It's a troll the six months. And let's take a look at that cross section. It is a sandwich. It doesn't look that bad. Well, I don't know. This sandwich may be the closest we've come to being sacrilegious. But the dice gods cannot be contained. Let's give it a taste. Yo, love you, dude. Thank you so much for five gifts. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks Interesting. So We've got so many Dad, strong flavors, so many juicy, and yet you. they kind of cancel each other out a little bit. But the bread and the mustard are definitely doing the heavy lifting. We've got more umeboshi this time, but the Bruno still goes a long way to kind of cancel it's that out. It's not good to be drinking still that taste much. The ketchup quite a bit. It's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And honestly, the sweetness of the ketchup is kind of okay Thanks with the, for the sweet content Bruno's flat. cheese. I don't know. Thanks this is a weird pickles. one. I'm actually going to go with a 7.1, believe it or not. And I'm going to call it the cold day in hell because I rated a sandwich with ketchup higher than a 7. Even though I rated it higher than a 7, I'm still feeding these dice to Earl because they gave me ketchup. Well, it's funny. The TikTok and beyond and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these tiny green dice just for fun. First up, let's roll for Those bread. Cool. Six honey wheat. With this, we're getting close to the end of our delicious loaf of honey wheat bread from Hannah Bread Talk. Let's hope we don't waste it. Let's roll for Maine. Not bad. Eight, turkey. I've got this lemon pepper turkey that I've never tried before, but when I saw it in the deli case, it intrigued me. So we're going to try it out. Uh, turkey in general yeah, is not one of my guy. favorite deli meats, but if we have it, I'll usually eat it. Here's the thing. I like turkey off the bird. I'm not a huge fan of sliced turkey type of deal. Next up, roll for cheese. Three, vegan provolone. Sweet dreams are made of cheese, or in this case, water, Look coconut that. oil, potato starch, cornstarch, salt, olive extract, and beta carotene. That cheese is just so bad. All right, let's roll for roughage. One, lettuce, and six, pickled okra. We've got romaine lettuce this time, so I'm going to get some on here. Add a little fiber, a little crunch, not a lot of flavor. That's okay. It's not a bad sandwich. Pickled okra is back with a vengeance. This Ooh. time I'm gonna cut them. You can eat the tops, but I'm gonna Ooh. cut them off this time and just cut them in half. And lay them out I here. I was pickled okra, I've never had that. All right, there we go. I think the vinegar and dill will pair nicely with the lemon of the turkey. So we've got that going for us. All right, here we go with our wild magic roll. Two, extra sauce again. All right, so we're rolling two dice for the D20 sauce roll, here we go. 13 dill pickle mustard and 17 Taco Bell avocado ranch. These two sauces have been rearing their heads quite a bit lately. I definitely don't mind it for th uh, the Taco Bell sauce kind of a little, little suspect. I'm not a that's a little bit of a suspect uh, sauce choice, but you know, obviously you didn't decide the, the fucking dice to sign, but you know the mustard that mustard is great and honestly i think this is a better sandwich for this avocado ranch than most of the ones we've gotten with it so far so i'm pretty hopeful on this one let's get our toothpicks in there to hold it together and let's get it cut in half and let's take a look at that cross section all right looking good well this has got to be the closest to a normal sandwich that i have gotten in quite some time let's give it a taste mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love the music in this. It's so good. Oh, yeah. This is good. like a seven and a half. I like the lemon eight. pepper turkey, though it is a little dry. But none of the sauces or the okra or any of that is really fighting each other. It's it's working together pretty well. Could have used something special to kick it over the edge, but I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.2. And I'm going to call Ooh. it the false sense of security because it was too normal. Something is brewing. All right. Okay. Next. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by G Fuel. They sent me a few different flavors of energy Yo, drink to try, that's awesome. including one called Health Potion that's themed after Diablo, one of my favorite video game series. All right, let's get into it and roll for bread. Four, hollow bread. I pre-sliced and then froze some of the loaf from last week. So I just got out a few slices Never and toasted it. them up, and we're ready to go. Next up, roll What's for main. What's that taste like, chat? Two, gefilte fish. 
Gefilte fish on challah bread. I think the dice gods are trying to say sorry for what they did last time. Gefilte fish is a Jewish dish that I can best describe as, stay with me here, fish meatballs. The variety I have here is marinated in a slightly sweet sauce, and honestly, they come across kind of like a Swedish meatball in both texture and flavor. If you've seen the sardine episode, you know I'm not a big fan of fishy tastes, but the amount of fish flavor that comes through on these is very mild. Next up, roll cheese. Not crazy Three, about vegan it, but... provolone. Hey, we're still kosher. Although I guess because of the fish, we still would have been anyway. Dude, he's gotta I guess get some cheese other than the vegan provolone. Flavor, which I don't mind. Next up, roll roughage. I'm convinced he likes it. Double nines, extra kimchi. All right, the kimchi I have is fermented Napa cabbage. Mm. I, th I don't think know if we're that's... still kosher, but I'm not well versed in the laws. This will add a little bit of spice and some sourness and saltiness. This is gonna be interesting. Next up, Wild Magic. Eight, black garlic. Black garlic is garlic that's been heated and aged for several uh -oh. weeks. Almost all of the sharp garlic flavor is cooked out of it. And what you're left with is an earthy, deep flavor with notes of caramel and licorice. It's a subtle and complicated flavor to describe, and I have no idea how it's gonna work on this sandwich. All right, last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Seven, curry mustard. This mustard is tasty, but it is very curry forward. I don't know if we really needed another strong flavor on this sandwich. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. <laughs> I, don't one, together, I don't know about this one, buddy. I don't know about And let's get it cut in half. <laughs> I don't know let's take a look at that cross one. section. Oh, no, that looks terrible. Uh, okay. That looks I think awful. a preemptive heal with some of this health potion may be in order. Check the link in my bio to get some game fuel for yourself and use code SANDWICH to get 30% off your order. All right, Did let's get it mixed up fuel? here. Is it game fuel? Oh, no. <laughs> and let's give it a taste. Oh, no. Yeah, not bad. And now for this monstrosity, let's give it a taste. This is confusing. The kimchi and the curry are definitely the strongest flavors at play. It doesn't make me want to barf, but at the same time, it's so hard to pin down. I don't know. I think for this one, I'm going to go with a 5.3. And I'm going to call it the Shaggy because this is That's truly way, a ridiculous card. That is way too high. That is way too high. That was disgusting. That was one of the worst looking sandwiches I have ever fucking seen. Ever. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these rainbow dice that were sent to me by a fan. Thanks. First up, let's cool. roll for bread. Two, rye bread. I'm a big fan of rye bread, especially toasted. Here's two slices, ready to go. Next up, let's roll for main. Three, lobster salad. I picked this up at my local deli. It's got chunks of lobster, mayo, I don't really like lobster celery, salad, but some dill, it's okay. a couple other things. It'll be a nice change it's a of start. pace. It's or a maybe start. it'll be horrifying. The dice will decide. All right, next up, let's roll it's for probably cheese. probably gonna be bad. Two, mango ginger Wensleydale. Wensleydale is an English cow's milk cheese that has a crumbly texture and a slightly sweet and nutty flavor. And this variety has inclusions of mango and ginger. It's a nice pairing, but not an overwhelmingly strong flavor, though I don't know how it's gonna go with lobster salad. We'll find out. On to the huh. roughage roll. Two avocado and 10 pickles. Well, I am rarely sad to be adding avocado to a sandwich. The creaminess and fat will be right at home with the mayo in the lobster salad, and it'll be a nice complement to the cheese as well. Score I one mean, for avocado. It's not the worst. Now the pickles coming in are a great addition. Dill is a common ingredient in it's, these cold seafood salads, it's not so the pickles awful, will add a nice brightness. It's not that'll good. Cut all the but... fat. Next up, let's roll wild magic. Three cereal. Okay, this may not be a disaster. <laughs> the cereal I have are plain Cheerios, which are almost savory in flavor if you try them by themselves. I think they'll be subtle enough that they'll just add some crunch and not really mess with the flavor combinations we have going on. And last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Five, QP mayo. Well, even oh. though there's already mayo in the lobster salad, this isn't a bad oh, addition. No, it just not, adds a little bit of umami not flavor. Not the mayo Cheerios, dude! Let's get our sandwich closed oh, up and get some no, toothpicks on to keep it together. Dude. And let's get it cut in half. I'm wielding my dagger today. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh no, what is that? All right. 
<laughs> well, all in all, I feel like this is decently cohesive. We'll find out when we give it a taste. Here we go. Well, it's a little messy with the avocado and the lobster salad, but this is definitely not bad. As I suspected, the avocado and the pickles both work fine. And you can't taste the cereal at all, but it does provide a nice crunch. And you've got that hint of ginger from the Wensleydale that mixes with everything else to give you an almost sushi vibe. Dude, I feel like he's been all traumatized. All, this is a pretty solid sandwich. So now he thinks I think like it they're good. It easily ranks at a 9.1. And I'm going to call it the Transatlantic Brunch. What? Well, that's all for now. I hope you have a great day. And I'll that's a 9.1? Oh my god, this... Dude, I actually think he's... I think he's gotten... I think he's traumatized. I... There's no way. There's just no way. Good afternoon, D&D &D TikTok and beyond. A lot of you have been asking for a tour of my dice collections. 